So I just uh, found these two skeleton skinks under a rock. Uh, they're kind of cold, but it's kind of surprisingly warm today, so I think I would not be surprised if they're about to become active. But yeah, these guys are a lot prettier as juveniles. It's usually, usually as juveniles they have a much brighter blue tail. Here's a juvenile southern alligator lizard. It's pretty cold too, so a bit more sluggish than they would normally be. A lot of beautiful red coloration on this one. Here's a Sierra tree frog. Probably the most common species of frog in the area. Here's a nice big female. Judging by how plump she is, uh, she's probably gravid, which means full of eggs. So these guys are super variable <laughs> in their coloration. This one's a gorgeous slime green color. All right, just found this little sharp-tailed snake. He's extremely small. Yeah, this is a young one. They're a small species, another fossorial species. Spend most of their time underground or undercover objects. They have really cool um, striped patterning on their bellies. That guy that's digging down into the grass. That was the 14th Sierra and tree frog I've seen today. Like I've said before, they are extremely common. There's another amphibian local to the area. That is the western toad. This would be a pretty one. This is pretty unfortunate. I just lifted this pretty big rock. There's this old dried up uh, baby rattlesnake. So this is from this past fall, uh, which is when most of the baby snakes are hatching or being born in the case of rattlesnakes. Um, it's hard to say what killed it. It could have been crushed um, even by a careless herper. Um, or it could have just died under here for lack of thriving from not finding enough food or water in the drier months but yeah kind of sad it's a little baby so these are two juvenile bullfrogs american bullfrogs they're one of the worst invasive species in this area in the past ponds like these would have supported pretty large numbers of red-legged frogs but they've been largely displaced by the American bullfrog. Just found a nice little skeleton skink. Sorry, they're kind of hard to hold on to. Um, it's cool to see one that's a decent size with the blue tail still. It's pretty neat. And this time it's a southern alligator lizard. A little bit skinny. Here's a very tiny southern alligator lizard. It's got a little tick on his side. Little baby. He is under here. So I'm just gonna let him go back. So the winter snakes continue. Here in February, we have this really pretty uh, neonate Northern Pacific Rattlesnake. Just flipped a piece of concrete that was lying here under a tree. Um, and he was using it to hunker down. So I was just about to move him so I can place the concrete back. 
And I didn't even realize that outside of the concrete, there was another one just sitting here. Two neonates, two babies. How about that? Excellent camouflage. So yeah, I just moved him so I could put the concrete back without harming him. Now he's doing some pretty cool defensive posturing. Only one button, so they can't really make a rattling sound. Which is why this little guy's being silent. Where's the other one? Still hasn't moved. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and shift this guy back to right at the edge of this concrete so he can take cover like he was. This little arboreal salamander was hanging out under a log. They're very variable in their coloration. This one has really low patterning. And it's kind of like almost an orangish color. They can be nearly black and sometimes have lots of notable yellow speckles. Here is the ever-present California slender salamander. Sorry about the really bad video quality. I'm super zoomed in because I don't want to scare all these guys off the log there. But those are western pond turtles. It's pretty cool. They're the only aquatic turtles that are native to the Bay Area that are alive today. Um, and they have been largely displaced by the invasive red-eared slider, which uh, has been introduced through the pet trade mostly. Um, so it's nice to see good numbers of them like this. There's a young California newt, probably a fairly recent metamorph based on its size. There's a pretty good sized Entatina. My hand for reference. Well, uh, I don't often get close enough to birds to film them, but uh, there's a great blue heron here just sitting by a parking lot, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> this is a wading bird. They will catch or even pierce a prey in shallow water with that long, sharp bill. Gorgeous. Awesome animal. Sometimes they hang out in, in uh, grassy areas like this because uh, gophers and mice um, will be using the burrows and they'll feed on those as well. Cool bird. Here on the light pole, is a red-shouldered hawk. We'll see how close it'll let me get. Not very. <laughs> this is a Townsend's warbler. Well, uh, he didn't really want to stick around, I guess, but they're one of the migratory winter birds that we get here. One of the more colorful species.